after that is where is it? Industrial craft. Copy that. Uh, for rail craft is later. Red power. Drag that in there. So we have the four big mods in here: build craft, equivalent exchange, industrial craft, and red power. Um, for our world, we're gonna have to do some block changes. Um, for a new world, as long as you can get the game to start, it really doesn't matter because. If you have a prior world that you're updating, you're going to have to match IDs and change IDs around. It's, it's a big hassle, um, so it shouldn't be a big deal with you. Um, I'm going to cut out the block ID changes I'm going to have to make with ours, but for to get it to start up, start up regularly, some of these, like I believe, additional pipes conflicts with... Um, there's a... There's a block in there, it conflicts with something else. All you have to do is change it, and then it'll be good. But Red Power has added a lot of new stuff in the new Prelease 5. I believe Railcraft has added some new ones. And Industrial Craft has maybe added one or two. So there, it's, it's getting pretty tight in there. This right here is basically all the client mods that the base mods. So if you start it up, it should start no problem. And I'm just going to add, remember my password, I'm tired of typing it. Should start up no problem. Now if you do, let me edit my sound, it's probably pretty loud. Do a single player, just type some random stuff. And here it comes. Any second now. There we go. Lags at first because gotta generate some stuff. And if you go in here, you should go down, and there's all the mod items right there. Pretty easy. Not that hard at all. Make sure you have all of them in there. Make sure it's not skipping any. Covenant Exchange, there's Industrial Craft, Red Power, and. Where is it? Build Craft right there. So, if you got this far, keep going. Um, that's all for the client. Well, next is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. Um, it's still pretty easy. Um, all you gotta do is follow the directions, but it gets a little bit more tricky. Now that you have all the base, the I just call I call them the big four. Um, they're the big four mods. Add the bulk of what we use. After you have those, you got to add the the sub mods like forestry. Copy that in there. Um, where is railcraft? Copy that in there. And additional pipes. Copy that in there. And that's the texture pack. That'll be later. And that'll be it. And I guarantee it'll probably not work at the start. So I'm gonna have to do some block ID changes. <coughs> It's probably going to fail to load. Yep, it failed. So we got to go into... If we look at the little error report that popped up. See? It's saying red power core block ID is already op occupied by railcraft. So we got to do a little block ID change. To do a block ID change, go back to your .minecraft, the main folder and for railcraft what we're going to have to do is go into config railcraft then click on the railcraft config and it'll open up a little notepad and this is how you configure all the block ids it took me a while i'm not going to lie but i found out that 191 through 197 is open so you want to do do the same changes as i'm doing here 193, 194, 195, and 196. Save that, and what this will do is this will just rename all the blocks, and we'll see if this works. Then we go back to Minecraft Mods, and I, I removed it temporarily, so I'm going to replace it back in. I'll open up Minecraft and hopefully if all goes well it should load just fine 
and there it goes. Not so difficult. I was messing around with the oil right here for a little bit. And if we go up to 190, 189, um, yeah, that's that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and change the, the starting ID to 190 instead. Um, it's kind of pointless leaving a just a block ID like open. This really ma makes no sense. So 190, 191, 192. 193, 194, and 195. Alright, there's no, there's really no sense in opening up Minecraft again. It's saved, it's in there. Um, for the next one, what you need to do, for the next config, back to config, uh, Minecraft, and you go to config, and you go into forestry. Is it this one? Um, you need to go in here and look for generate 10 then you go to generate 10 false generate copper false and this will not generate copper and tin and forestry and then you save this going back then you need to go back to conf uh, dot minecraft then you go to red power and be very careful on this one because I've deleted a space. I, I accidentally deleted a space and then I had to redo the entire red power. So you got to be very careful on editing red power. Basically, what I went in here, I very, very carefully put it right here. I don't want to generate tin. And I don't want to generate copper. And you want to save that. Because if we go to config industrial craft industrial craft has its own generation of copper and tin and with the introduction of uh, and wonders of forge you can use industrial craft copper and tin and save forestry and it'll work just fine now that that is taken care of um, go ahead and do a quick test it should work it really shouldn't have any problem at all And just do a new world. Should load up just fine. Takes a little while. And if we go back down to 190, we see that this is 189 and this is 190. And then there's no spaces in between. There's one space, but then that's that's perfectly fine. And then we still have all kinds of block IDs up here, down here. So if anything gets added in the future, or we just use a block ID from a different location. This is the number one probably cause of, uh, what is it, like fail failures to load, what I'm trying to say. Uh, when it comes up and it gives you that little error, no one knows really know how to re read the error. If you scroll down in the error log, it says block ID is taken up by this. And it's usually the most common, except probably the second most common made it. Not deleting your meta inf at the very beginning of this video is probably the number one cause. Uh, thus, why I did it first. So, if you follow these instructions, you should be able to have a just base Minecraft that works just like this. Um, no texture pack, as you can see. We're going to do that next. And then after the texture pack, um, you can either call it a day if you just want to do uh, solo play, single player. Or, I'm going to go in depth on how to install the server. So, everything's working. Let's put a, see, transposer, what is it, apiary, what else, look at that, rainmaker, uh, let's get something from, I don't know, industrial TNT, uh, one way track, see, everything's working just fine. So, let's go ahead and exit out, close that, and get to work on the next part, which is the texture pack. Uh, the next part, texture pack, is also pretty simple. Um, notice how I left in this entire time this minecraft.jar open in the background. That's where the texture pack, or not the texture pack, the optifine is going to go. 
So keep in mind that I still have that open in the background. First of all, what we want to do is go to Dot Minecraft, Texture Packs, and drop, I believe, yep, take the texture pack, the Sortex modded, drop it right in there. And then what you want to do is Optifine. I all right, now that I got Optifine, I take Optifine, go inside of that. Oops, clicked on the wrong thing right here. You double click on Optifine in your list of mods, then copy everything all the way to Minecraft.jar, open them up, and should load just fine right here. Takes a little minute to choose or change. There we go. There it goes. Whoops. My bad, I think I accidentally closed it. See now that when you start it back up, the little the, the new uh, logo pops up. That means the texture pack is working. Let's just go. Yeah, I'm losing track. Just gonna go to this world. Takes a little bit, and once you're in, everything looks fine. New texture pack and everything. And I think, I don't know if the beehives have been updated yet. Take a look at the beehives. Block of steel, oh, these are, those are new items. I don't know. I don't even see the beehive in here. Probably missing it. I'm probably skipping right over it. Hey, see? There's the new uh, textures for the beehives. So you know, in my uh, earlier in my Let's Play videos, I had a texture pack, and it looked just like this. Um, just... Per or, I don't know, purple? Pinkish? That's all it was. And, yep, there's all the stuff. So this is all, if you want to call it a day, this is everything that we're using in our survival multiplayer video. Um, this is only for the client, so if you just want to play single player, go right for it. Uh, before I go, I should just stop to mention that the in the single player or any uh, for this texture pack, for anything that you use this texture pack for in this new version, uh, basically there's some texture pack issues, so... Possibly when I'm recording future Let's Play um, episodes, I'm probably going to use the default pack until this gets fixed because I don't like unfinished texture packs. They just don't work. Or that they work, but they just look ugly. So I'll probably use the default texture pack until this gets fixed in a week or so. I actually changed my mind. I'm going to actually do two videos. The first video right here is going to be client that I've already done. The next video is going to be the server, so keep, uh, keep your eyes out open for that one.